Hi there, welcome back. I'm Angel Ricci, Millsoft Technical Architect, and in today's session, we're going to learn how to leverage platform APIs so that you can save time. You will be using platform APIs to modify exchange assets metadata and API specifications metadata so that your assets are readable and discoverable. Now, without further ado, let's dive right in. Here is our exchange asset. You can see the central documentation page with the title and a nice image. You can see the API details and endpoints in the left. And in the right, you can see type of the asset and the organization it belongs to. Now we will use platform APIs to add the metadata field that you see in the screen, custom field such as support teams email, a category could be an API layer in our case, Experience API, and tags, let's say airline and flight. So we go to our Postman platform APIs. This collection, you can see the tutorials made by Amir to understand how to use it. We're going to basically get a token using our authentication. We have our environment and we have got that token. Now that we go to the token, we're going to add a new category to our business group. So we're going to create a category, actually this one, with an API layer. It's going to be the name and the values are going to be experience, process or system. We go ahead and we try to create. The result of a successful request is this one here that you can see API layer and the message is 201 created. Now we're going to add this category that is created in our business group to our asset. If we want to add it to an asset, we need to get the asset ID. The way of getting the asset ID is in our asset. This is the easiest way. You can see it here on the top. American Flights API Exchange Metadata. So if we go back here, you can see my app ID, which is my asset ID, is American Flights API Metadata. We're going to add the experience category. We run it and we successfully add it. If we go back, we refresh the page and we're going to be able to see the category added. In the same way, you can control all the management of the categories from this view with this already created for you platform APIs. So now we're going to create a custom field in our organization. You can see the business group ID we talked about before, and now it's going to be against fields. This is the display name, support team, how it will look in the UI, and the tag key, how we're going to work with in the platform APIs with, with this value. We're going to try to create it. We created successfully. You can see the 201 created. We're going to now attach a custom field to the asset. In this case, we're creating a text custom field. You can see the tag value here, support at example.com. This is a value we come up with. And in the URL, you can see the organization, the asset ID, the version, and par pa parts of the path, including the tag key at the end. This is very important. We're going to send the command you can see 201 created successfully. If we go back to our asset and we refresh, we should be able to see it on the right. Here, we can see the support team created. This is our custom field. Our last metadata is tags. It's the easiest. You can see it in the folder. We select the put request and we're going to see similar to business group and directly into asset ID. You don't need to first create the tag and then link to the asset. You create the tag directly in the asset. We have the keyword tags and what the body is, is an array. So you can add many values here. And in our case, we're going to use Postman collection and any point platform APIs. We create it, send the request, two or four, no content, that's excellent. We come here to our asset, we refresh, and you can see that we successfully created a custom field, a category, and the tags. Thank you very much, and see you next time.